Hello, Tut Nerd here. It is June 23rd, 2011, Thursday. Today I'm just going to walk you through how to actually install Simple Machine Forms. And you can see that I've got a cPanel open. This is on HostGator. And it's, a, I think, a fairly simple uh, cPanel. I know that they come in different variations with different options, but the database setup, which is the first part of this process, is always the same. So I'm going to try and cram this into 10 minutes, believe it or not. And if you need to pause or go back, rewind, just do whatever you have to do. But I'm going to try and cram this in 10 minutes. So I'm going down here and I'm finding my SQL databases. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to say create a new database. Down here, it says my SQL users add a new user. Well, what we want to do is create a new database. So as you can see on this specific cPanel with uh, HostGator, it says tutnerd underscore. So I'm going to put SMFTWO, SMF2, create database. And it's working on it. As you can see, it created, uh, added to the database tutnerd underscore SMF2. So I'm going to go back. Now, it never asked us for a login, so we got to create one. So I'm going to go username tutnerd underscore, and I'm going to just call it tut. Password, I'm going to type my password in, I'm going to confirm my password. Always a good idea to use uh, numbers, letters, uppercase, and lowercase. And now, before you hit create user, make sure to pick the correct database. So, tutnerd underscore SMF1 database, tutnerd underscore SMF2 is what we want. Select all privileges, make changes. Go back. Okay, so now we have tutnerd underscore SMF2. There's nothing in it because we haven't populated it yet. The user's tutnerd underscore SMCF1. That must have been auto generated. It's very early and I haven't had my coffee. It was either auto generated or I mistyped it. But that's the user, that's the database name and I know what my password is. So I'm going to leave this this page up. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to simplemachines.org. Very easy to use. We're going to go to download SMF. And one thing I actually just noticed this morning is they've taken away the uh, the one, they haven't taken it away. If you want to download a previous release, please click here. But they, they used to list the 1.1 here, but I guess they're completely done debugging the uh, full 2.0 RC5. So I'm going to go ahead and do full install is the one I'm going to download. I'm going to download the zip. I'm going to save that file. I'm going to open the containing folder. I'm going to copy that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm just going to go to my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it SMF2. So I know where this, this file is located. Go into that folder. Right click. Paste that zip file. Now I'm going to right click on it again and extract it here. It's going to extract all the files for us. Now, be sure when you upload this, you don't upload the, the zip one. I usually just delete it when I'm done because you don't need that. Now it's unzipped. So now I'm going to minimize this folder. And the next step is to get your favorite FTP client up. I like FileZilla. So I'm going to log in to tutnerd.com. connecting. Now remember on uh, HostGator this is different than GoDaddy. On GoDaddy if you're hosting one website 
on a shared hosting account, you're not going to have this public underscore HTML folder. But with HostGator, this is the one you need to go to. You need to click into that. You don't want to load these files into this directory because your website doesn't live in there. You want to go into public HTML or public underscore HTML, click one time on the dot dot dot, right click, and hit create directory. Okay, now what I'm going to call this, don't get rid of the public underscore HTML slash, just delete the new directory. I'm going to call this SMF2, the number two. It's just going to make a folder. Okay, now I'm going to open that folder. There's nothing there. I'm going to open this, which has all of our files in it. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to drag them on over. And as you can see, it has over a thousand files to load and it's doing that. All right, all of our files are loaded. So I'm just going to, you can X out or minimize this stuff. I'm going to go back into the browser. And now, I don't need that anymore. I'm going to go to tutner.com forward slash SMF2. This should take us to a load screen. There we go. SMF installer. Overall progress zero because we haven't started anything yet. I'm going to hit continue. Now here's where it asks for all the information on the database that you created when you first started this. On HostGator, leave it local host. If it's GoDaddy, you have to go look at the database that it created because it gives you a very long string of automated database numbers and stuff. So you have to copy it out of the GoDaddy one. In HostGator, just leave it local host. Now, what was my username? My username was tutnerd underscore smcf1. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it. Password, I know what that is. Database name, tutnerd underscore smf2. Copy, paste, continue. Leave the table prefix the same. Okay, now we're at the overall progress, 25%. It asks form name. I'm just going to put tut nerd uh, SMF tutorial. Of course, yours is going to be called something different. Um, form URL, if this is on your index folder, if this is just your domain name, you don't want slash anything. You take that out. But in our case, because I'm doing a tutorial on tutner.com, it's stored in the folder SMF2. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, you don't need to worry about gzip, output, database sessions. I never mess with the UTF-8 character set. Uh, this is optional. If you want to allow simple machines to collect basic stats monthly for their collection and help them make decisions on configurations, blah, 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 you can check that. I never check it. I hit continue. There it says populated database, created 63 tables, inserted 779 rows. I'm going to click continue again. Now we create the username. I'm going to be tutnerd, create my password, create my password again. And now you have to supply the database password uh, for security reasons in order to finish the install. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit continue. And the last step, click here to delete the install.php now. So I'm going to click that. And then now you can see your newly installed form and begin to use it. Boom, there we go. You'll notice that we are at tutner.com slash smf2 slash index.php. And now I can go to admin and I can set up my boards. Um, if you need to know how to set up boards on smf2, I will be doing a tutorial for that this week um, to show how to set up the boards for smf2. Thanks for watching and please visit tutner.com and leave comments, ask questions.